Hi everyone, and welcome to Complete and Cast, the official podcast for Complete and Box video games. I'm your host, Spencer Brosman, and today we're here with special guest Mushka. Mush, how you doing today? Really good, really good. Really good? Like a nice, fine sports video game? Sports or video games or both, actually? Both is, both? What's, on, is what's on the table today. Okay. So today we're here to talk about sports video games. Uh, Mush is one of the friends I have that is unique in that he likes both what would be referred to as hardcore video games, you know, RPGs, stuff like that, but also like sports video games as well. A lot of times I find my friends go on either one side or the other (laughs) of the spectrum, so I found that to be, you know, fairly unique. So today we'll just be talking about sports video games in general. Uh, Let's start out, Mush, by just asking, you know, an introductory question. What would be your favorite sports video game? It would definitely have to be Madden 2004 and also NBA 2K6 on the PS2 and Xbox. Now, can you tell me why 2K6 for NBA specifically? Because it set the mold for what all the 2K games are today. So, you know, if you play 2K16 or below, it... It basically molded itself off of 2K6, where 2K6 created, um, I forgot what it's called with the right stick, but the total control with the right stick, where you could shoot, dribble, block, and do certain things with the right stick, and that, and that made it really dynamic. It was really cool. So before 2K6, essentially, yeah. it was it was almost archaic. 2K6 yep. really turned it around and everything, because yep. I've heard that 2K11 for NBA is always the one that people mention as like, oh, that's that's the one. But you're saying 2K6 was really what started it on the right path. Yeah, I'm kind of sounding like an old man, but yeah, it, yeah, it really did just like set the mold of like certain standards of what 2K is, and and obviously they like improved it over the years. But to me, that is the pinnacle because it truly set set a precedence of this, and then. Uh, 2K11 really it refined it too because it was on 360 PS3, so that was able to, you know, set a new standard too. But uh, 2K6 definitely for me easily. You know, sports games are interesting in that every year that they come out, they generally do have you know better graphics yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes it's not the graphics themselves that yep. make it. Like you might prefer to play 2K6 over yeah. one of the more recent ones yeah. just because it might be just a better experience overall. Now, you mentioned uh, PS2 and Xbox for um, the 2K6. Yes. Do you have a favorite console in general that you feel did video games right, or sports video games right? Uh, In reality, I feel like because of its just library and just how consistent it was, PS3 and 360, that era, uh, definitely nailed it because um, it was able to have really good graphics uh, by that time and, and uh, the gameplay it kind of matched it off of the PS2 on there so you know I found I don't know if you remember this because uh, you're a bit younger than me yes. but when the 360 first came out and this happens a lot for the sports games mm-hmm. it had a very difficult time especially the Madden and the 2k series when it first switched yep. over Madden 06 Madden 07 were way better on the PS2 yep. than they were on the 360. Um, all right, so you're saying that 360 and PS3 are best, but once they got over that little hump right there. Yeah, yeah, because it was a new console cycle. So, um, yeah, I remember th- those games weren't good either. But then it took it took a couple years because they kind of do that thing where they uh, take away with a new, a new console cycle, and then slowly they say, oh, wait, we're putting this back in here, this back in here. So. You know, we've seen it with the PS4 as well. Um, 2K14, by all accounts, is way worse than 2K16. Yep. For, for, for NBA. Yes. So that's something that we've seen a lot. I remember specifically playing Madden. Uh, I didn't own an uh, Xbox 360 at the time, right. but with some friends in college in 06 or 07, one of those two, and it was like just broken. Yeah. I remember you could hand the ball to Reggie Bush, and every single time you would get 78, eight, eight yards, right. no matter like what you would do. You'd blitz all up the middle. It didn't matter. Reggie Bush was getting seven or eight yards. So that was that was uh, that was kind of interesting. That that's kind of how sports games go. They really need a couple years on a console to get their groove. Yeah, they were just focused on the graphics too, because like it looked it looked really pretty, but like as you said, it wasn't balanced well, and a lot of quirks with the gameplay, and not even a lot of modes too in those versions. So let's say two K seventeen <laughs> comes out and it has worse graphics than sixteen. Yes, but the gameplay is tighter. Would you prefer that, or would you prefer a prettier game? You know, I'm not gonna lie though. I really did like two K fourteen when it was like when it came out on PS four and Xbox One because it was just so beautiful. And they didn't touch much in the gameplay, and there weren't as many modes, but I still enjoyed that. So as they put in more and more modes, uh, that was fine. So I think 
I would be okay if it were like better gameplay and the graphics weren't as better. That's fine with me. Okay, so yeah, if it's it if is. it's less less pretty but you know a better a yeah, better yeah. experience, I definitely agree on that okay, as well. Cool. Do you have a particularly okay. good or bad memory when it comes to playing sports uh, video games? Yeah, I have really early stuff. I used to play uh, NBA Live and Madden on the Sega Genesis. But I played the late model version, so it was like live, like 97, Madden 96 on Genesis, and I would play it with my brother, and he would just want me all the time, because I was a kid, and I didn't even understand the concepts of like everything. And he didn't go easy on you. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, the score was really lopsided. Well, older brothers generally tend to do that. I don't think I went too easy on Trevor when we ended up playing games, although he likes sports up. A lot less than me so th those those early childhood memories even though you were losing it was just the simple fact that you were you know yep. playing with him yep. that really brought me in. and that actually brings me to to uh to my example on that i'll interject that real quick um when mlb 06 was on the psp trevor mm -hmm. and i would play all the time and we were actually uh in the top five or ten uh online on the leaderboards and uh it was a perfect marriage because i loved pitching in that game mm -hmm. but i hated hitting hitting and trevor loved hitting and hated pitching oh, so yeah. we would just hand it over every half <laughs> inning i would pitch and then he would hit and it was just it was just awesome so i guess technically if you look at it we weren't technically on the top five or ten because it was two of us but uh you know there were also times where you know he wouldn't be home so i'd you know do that as well but i really uh i really uh, enjoyed that unfortunately down the line um, MLB the show got a little less down my alley, so we went down there. But I'll always remember 06 and the time that we put into that. So speaking of baseball or just sports in general, do you think there's a, a particular sport that best translates to video games? Uh, you know, I keep talking about 2K, but uh, 2K definitely nailed it in my mind because it does many things with pacing, with consistency. It does a lot of things that kind of emulate NBA in my mind, or basketball in my mind, where like um, Madden is kind of half and half to me, where Madden is a little archaic in spots, and it, and like it's like pretty real with the formations and defenses, but it feels a little archaic, and certain things don't flow like real football, but to me, it would feel a little boring to like the masses if it was just really slow, really just... Um, really methodical. You know, people who dislike sports will always put the, uh, you know, figure out there that whatever percentage of the football game is actually spent just standing around, yeah. which is, of course, greatly simplifying it. You're, you know, figuring stuff out. You're calling plays and stuff like that. But I could imagine if, if it did take 25 seconds yeah. to call a play in Madden, I would not enjoy it quite as much because normally, you know, when we play, we call our plays in three, four, five seconds, and, yeah. and that's it. We're not waiting around the whole time. Uh, that wouldn't do very well, in my opinion. Yeah. So to, uh, it, basketball in general, you're saying, does really well. What is it about it that just makes it feel like real basketball? Well, I think um, I spoke to you about it, and you said that you didn't like 2K when you tried it, right? So then I wasn't so a huge fan. I tried to explain. I try to explain to you that uh, th that like the game is like really realistic, so it's not just like uh, uh, pull up to the basket and shoot. Like you really have to work in plays, pass the ball around, take take open shots, and you can only really make shots like that if you are if you are a Kevin Durant or or a LeBron James or a really good shooter. So that it's like really uh, strategic, where like NBA Live or let's say NBA Jam even, but like NBA Live, it doesn't have that element as much. Uh, it feels a little more archaic with just like taking shots, with how quick it is. It's like a really fast game, but but to me that doesn't feel too lifelike. Well, you know, and that makes sense because you're much more of an NBA fan than I am. I mean, I follow it and yeah. I'll watch the playoffs, but I don't watch it day in and day out. Whereas you do so maybe that's one of those games where it's more for the hardcore person yeah. whereas myself just playing it i found it to be just very difficult yeah. and just just you know a little too realistic yeah. which actually brings me to my next question yes. which is do you prefer the hyper realism of today's games where most of these franchises mad in nhl you know what have you try to make their games as close to the actual sport or do you prefer the more arcadey kind of feel of games of the past you know i do prefer both i do like both i prefer the realistic one more but to kind of side with the arcadey though i mean like certainly like nba jam blitz or or slugfest well, let's let's, even. let's say if we're just talking because uh, those are very arcadey yes. let's just let's just talk about 10 12 years ago you know my, i mentioned uh, okay. on madden yes you would run the ball with reggie bush yes. and be able to run it five six seven yards yes. every time that's not realistic yeah. but is it more 
fun if you're playing it. Does you know getting stopped? Uh, my Madden team right now can't run for yeah. you know crap, so yeah. I get 2.0 yards per carry, and I don't really have fun with that. <laughs> Um, you know, I say that those games do have a lot of charm to them. Like, uh, let's say Madden 08, 07 felt uh, really arcadey, really fast. And like, uh, let's say basketball, like NBA courtside uh, on the GameCube, I played a lot of that. That is a quote unquote sim, but it didn't feel like it at all. But those games do have charm to them. But certainly, I do prefer because I am a sports purist and quotes purist. Uh, you know, I prefer the more realistic. You know, and I might disagree with you there. I, I have a specific example. Um, MLB 06. I played it all the time on the PSP mm-hmm. and the PS2. And the way the pitches moved was very enjoyable to me, but not very realistic. You would throw a slider, and if you threw it just right, it would go across the entire plate. Mm -hmm. Whereas in real life, even the best slider isn't going to like start on the left-hand side. It just moves a couple couple inches, but when it's being thrown 100 miles an hour, it's hard to hit anyway, or 90 miles an hour for a slider. When MLB 07 came out, um, they tried to make it more realistic, but in doing that, all of the pitches moved about half as much. So instead of throwing a curveball that you could start at the top of the zone and it would end in the dirt, it was you would have to throw it in the middle of the zone and it would end up at the bottom of the zone. And I'm going to be honest, since then I haven't played it very much because it's just a little too realistic for me. I enjoyed being able to throw a changeup that I could spot right on the corner uh-huh. on the upper part. <laughs> but now it's they move so little that it's just... A little lame to me. Okay, okay, that's interesting. All right. So that, that I, I definitely understand the realism kind of thing, but I, I think it can be taken too far, and I do think MLB the show, as beautiful a presentation as it is, and as much of a lo- love song as it is for MLB, I just I don't find it fun anymore. It's just I don't I I, I don't know I. I, I feel like if Madden 17 comes out and all of a sudden you're putting up real yep. stats where, you know, you have Johnny Manziel and you're going 8 for 18 with three interceptions every game, I don't know. That that doesn't sound particularly fun to me. Not that there's a fine line, yep. of course. You don't want to be throwing 100-yard passes every time. Yeah. But I, I just never – I don't know. I never I never, uh, never got into that. So speaking of non-realistic games, yes. let's say arcade like the old school jam and whatever mm-hmm. – what would you say your favorite non-realistic sports game is? Uh, I will switch to football and Blitz. Oh, baby. Uh, but, I was waiting but for But not it. Blitz. Blitz the League on PS2, oh. Xbox, and then also Blitz 2 on, on 360 PS3. So what is it about that one that, that that gives it to you over the original Blitz, which everyone loves? Yeah, well, like, those are pure arcade, and this one is, is still very, is still very arcade-y. But it's a little more kind of based in reality in certain points. But it's just this really cool game of like, you know, arcade football. But but you could play a campaign with like a storyline. It's uh, adult oriented. So it has a lot of crazy stuff like that. Uh, crazy hits. It's actually really fun. Actually. Well, that is true. I mean, NFL Blitz, I play it all the time. It yeah. doesn't have too much substance over it, yeah. over the actual fun game. Yeah. So it takes the original game and adds more substance is what you're saying yeah modes and all that kind yeah, of stuff yeah 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 it's really cool i th- uh, i think that you would like it it's like really different though so it's not like madden at all and then like you could do certain things like cheap shots or um i'm not sure how much we could talk about this but like you can either inject steroids in them or let them like heal their injuries and like yeah it's crazy things exactly <laughs> and, and is there a way you can like get hurt or caught by using the steroids or well whatever? i think like if you take the steroids like you get like automatically like you feel better but you can get hurt worse or like like, or like if you rest it and then like in a way, that's and then almost like, realistic. In the campaign like you go to jail and play like jail football yeah yeah it is crazy seriously like you should try that game out so blitz nowadays would be counted as a defunct or not currently existing game franchises do you have a favorite defunct game franchise uh yes uh, two of them they were made by microsoft if you've ever seen them in your store nba inside drive and nfl fever now those haven't existed for many years they were yeah, only many. on the original xbox right yep yep and i think they came out from 02 till about 04 actually so it wasn't that long so let's let's stick with uh inside drive what yeah. is it about inside drive that makes it just so good yeah it, uh it's a really different game at the time because it kind of felt like nba live at certain points but like a better version of live where it was paced a little better it had a it had a really different feel, and at the time I was kind of, I was kind of tired of live uh, by that point, and 2K was beginning to get in its groove, but like Inside Drive was just the perfect thing there. But um, at the time, it's really hard to compete with live and 2K, which were the two really big games at the time. So over time, it just began to fade out. And you know, you find that um, even with like uh, ESPN, NFL, or NBA. Yep. 
they were very popular franchises, but it's not always what's best. It's unfortunately what just sells. Well, you know why why ESPN NFL is is no longer around. Well, that's right? because uh, they have a monop- uh, uh, Madden has a monopoly. Yeah, they they, like, they bought something. out the uh, NFL in 05 because 2K sold more copies because it released. At- at uh, twenty dollars, brand new for twenty bucks. Yep, I yep, wish that happened a little more often. I remember I oh got that gosh. probably day one yep. for that. Yeah, I mean that's that was that was a big negative for uh, for EA, and yep. people still haven't really forgiven EA for you know. <laughs> There's one thing to put out a game and, you know, to have much more money into it, and it's another to not allow another game to come out. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, a tough spot there because uh, a lot of people still love that game, and uh, that game was awesome. Uh, yeah, I remember Yeah, yeah people game, still definitely. just love it so much. Yep. So nowadays, uh, competitive gaming, whether it's Dota or League of Legends, has become a very popular thing. And this is also true when it comes to sports games. Recently, we watched uh, the Madden Championships on Twitch. What are your thoughts on the competitive uh, sports game scene? I think it's great. Um, you know, we'll like talk more about like sports, like sports competitive gaming. But like, yeah, uh, to me, it's great. It gives you know um, an outlet for people to show their skill and make some money playing Madden that uh, they're really good at, and there's a decent viewer base for it. So I think it's like very cool all around. And of course, like you're always you're always gonna get the people saying like, okay, well, are these people athletes? I'm not saying they're athletes. I'm saying that uh, they're skilled. I love watching them play. So yeah. You know that really yeah, reminds cool. me of when Guitar Hero first came out uh, back in the day. Yeah. And I'm one of those people who I loved both Guitar Hero and playing the actual yep. guitar. And in fact, Guitar Hero um, predated me playing the guitar. But I was playing Guitar Hero and I wanted to play guitar so bad that I started to learn. Oh, cool, so cool. it's it's so interesting back then when people would go Guitar Hero. That's not real guitar. It's so yeah. lame. And it's like, why can't you have both? <laughs> we both play sports video games, yeah. but honestly, part of the re- we started a flag football league uh, earlier this year and we've played a lot. And part of the reason is we played Madden a lot. And I got to know, I was like, you know, this is this is this is fun. I always liked football, but I'm like, we can do this. I have some ideas on formations. So when people say stuff like, oh, they're not real athletes, it's like, but it can lead to it. We play football every Sunday now because of Madden. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. And plus, like, to me, I won't go super long on this, but, like, it's that tangent of saying, like, oh, well, why are you obsessed with that rather than playing real th- real football, right? And then, like, it's like, okay, so why are you watching movies and not becoming a uh, secret agent, a soldier? Yeah. Like, seriously, like, who cares? That's one of those arguments that you could pretty much take in, yeah, yeah, into yeah, anything. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, so. I mean, as we learn from playing football, although all we do is play flag football, uh, you can still get hurt pretty good. Oh, I, yeah. I still have a broken finger over it, and, and our friend Cody had a uh, uh, messed up ankle as well. And it's yeah. like, you know, and I, I I would not not take it away because it's been so enjoyable. Yeah. But when people make that argument, it's like, I'm not even, if I played real tackle football, I'd be killed. <laughs> you know, I'd be <laughs> like, I, I would be sitting here in, in, in a ventilator. <laughs> um, so speaking of competitive things. Yes. I would say that we both get pretty salty when we lose in sports games. Salty being mad, uh, especially when we play online. Do you have a particular funny moment or moment you regret regret when it comes to saltiness? Um, certain things. I think I'll, I'll actually flip this around and say and say on my brother that uh, we played. I think NBA Two K Thirteen. That one was uh, pretty good too. And uh, I was the Phoenix Suns, and I forgot who he was. And I literally, like, I'm not joking you, I, like, I hit ten three pointers in a <laughs> row. I was killing him, and he was so mad that he he threw the controller on the Xbox, scratched it. And, like, we got we, and like we actually got into a scuffle because I was like, hey man, that's like my Xbox, so it was crazy. So just like certain. Things like that can like draw emotions out of us, certainly. So. Did, did did you guys make up at least soon afterwards? Though? Yeah, yes, yeah, certainly. But like, it was crazy because to me, I'm like, wow. So you're so salty, but to him, um, and I'm sure that you can relate. It's like being like an older brother. Like you kind of have to big brother your your other brother. If you don't, you feel kind of you know like it's it's really tough even on sports games to turn off the competitive uses. Uh, again, for instance, when we play flag football. You know, we were playing with all friends. Every single person there, we were considered a good friend and a good person. But there are times where we'll push each other yeah. and be like, you know, come on, man, that you know that wasn't a catch or whatever. And it's it just is what it is. I, I always thought it was so weird when two hated teams, say the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and Baltimore Ravens, yeah. could like play and just beat the crap out of each other. But at the end of the game, give the handshakes. I'd be like, I'd be walking away, you know, whatever. But now I get it. Like, there's just, it's hard to turn off, but... 
it, you're a better person if you can like turn off be like you know when i'm on that field or when i'm playing that game i'm gonna be all up in you but otherwise you know we're cool at least cool enough yeah yeah like like not to use a cliche but it's that respect factor there uh, definitely you know? absolutely now to finish up this episode just one last question real quick um do you feel, and I think you went over this a little bit, yeah. do you feel that sports games in any way affect your knowledge or ability in real life sports? Oh, definitely, man. Especially with uh, Madden. Uh, just knowing all the formations, plays, routes, tendencies, juking, spinning, along with um, playing like a franchise mode, knowing contracts, leveraging, all this stuff, free agents. As a kid, I learned all this stuff, and nowadays, you know, like, as an adult sports fan, you know, but as a kid, I knew all this stuff because of Madden, so, like, I, so I was super knowledgeable knowing all this stuff, so I thought that, like, it was great. Like, it uh, definitely taught me a lot of things about football. Absolutely, and, uh, well, yeah, thank you guys very much for listening in today. This was special guest Mushka, and thank you once again for listening.